The Stanford Center on Longevity Design Challenge is an event that we created 10 years ago uh, to try to get more university age students interested in doing practical projects built around longevity related issues. This year's theme is called Longevity Ready Environments, Rethinking Physical Spaces for Century Long Lives. While we often talk about age-ready cities, which is how do we design a city that's accommodative towards people who might have disabilities with old age, really longevity-ready cities is about building environments that help us stay healthier longer. This year we have eight outstanding finalists who come from eight different countries globally. They really represent a wide breadth of environmental issues that affect health throughout the lifespan. We have designs that target airborne pollutants and toxins, as well as transportation solutions and urban and rural farming, including food preservation. After much deliberation, the judges have chosen the first, second, and third place winners of the 2022 Longevity Design Challenge. Congratulations. Um, the judges chose you for third place. Oh my God. Congrats, guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's crazy. Wow. With $2,000, do you, do you have any initial thoughts of where that'll go? I think it'd be really cool to get a patent and like pursue this a little longer because um, I know how prevalent it will be in the future. Just getting in touch with engineers and maybe they could help us integrate it into an existing technology. Any initial thoughts of how to celebrate? I don't know, guys. What should yeah. we do? <laughs> uh, I can't wait to call like all my family members. They're like anxiously waiting. The judges agreed, and this morning they decided to award Carpalax second place. Wow, uh, that's amazing. You may have to about that. Wow, that's quite interesting. I'm very excited about that. Do you have any immediate thoughts about how you'll use that prize money? We will be able to produce 454,545 couple lakh sachets. And within 12 months, we shall be able to preserve 227.2 tons of mangoes. We will be given an opportunity to be able to reach out to more people, to more farmers. The judges met this morning to discuss their thoughts about each of the videos, and they they actually loved your design so much that they've decided to award you first place in the design wow. this year. Oh my god! Oh my god! Really? I'm so my voice, my body Wait, is you... shaking, and I. <laughs> but this might be a joke, right? We worked so hard, and I'm so happy that I'm so it paid off because we really I'm did gonna... give it our all. I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> we really, really, yeah. really, really have to shout out a big one to Mr. Osaka. Now that the competition is over, and you know this. <laughs> Is this was the light at the end of the tunnel we're looking for, and it's here. So we, there's no reason for us to stop. We have to keep on going. We have to. We have, to, we have to make sure that you know we're helping out our community the way we know best, because that is what this whole challenge is about: like creating something for people, thinking about the environment, being humane, and this. If this is what we can give back and cut down on our emissions, then we're all for it.